Thank you, Governor, and good afternoon. These last few weeks have been an incredibly trying and difficult time for all of us, not only here in the Commonwealth, but for people around the world. And in some circumstances, these and in instances, these necessary steps of social distancing and staying home have left survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence particularly vulnerable and at an increased risk. Think of that for just a moment. Being home, isolating or quarantining or working from home, living with an abuser, and the impact that that has on your mental and physical abilities. So today, we want to make clear that as part of the work we are doing to stop the spread of COVID-19 and the efforts we are bringing forth across the Commonwealth, that survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence know that they are not forgotten and that we are here to provide resources to support them and to keep them safe. Since this crisis began, we have been in constant contact with our partners in the fight to end sexual assault and domestic violence, particularly Jane Doe, SafeLink, and our community providers across our Commonwealth that make up our safety net. I'm grateful for the advocates in local rape crisis centers, as well as domestic violence programs across our Commonwealth who have rapidly transitioned to providing many of their services remotely, utilizing technology to continue supporting survivors. I'm incredibly thankful for their efforts to make sure survivors have the services they need and we will continue to work closely throughout this crisis. As we continue to have discussions moving forward, DPH will update and post guidance and resources online at the COVID-19 website and their sexual and domestic violence prevention and services site. This is a critical time, especially for survivors. And to any that might be watching, know that you are not alone and that there are resources available to help you. Although many of the physical spaces of these resources have temporarily closed, we want to ensure everyone that, that they know that there are resources still available to you. This includes accessing to file abuse and prevention and harassment prevention orders either through your local police department, connecting with a safe plan advocate, or through our courts. Courts can also be reached during the normal business hours by calling the court directly or by calling the trial court hotline. 1-833-91-COURT. In fact, I spoke with Chief Dolly today. Judges are available 24-7 to process 209A restraining orders. Today we are announcing the expansion of SafeLink. This is a statewide, 24-7, toll-free, confidential domestic violence hotline. Prior to the COVID-19 outbreak, SafeLink functioned as a hotline to protect and connect survivors specifically to domestic violence services. Now during the public emergency, we are expanding SafeLink's capacity to include connecting victims of both sexual assault and domestic violence, to the rape crisis centers, as well as local domestic violence programs in their communities. SafeLink's expanded capacity to triage calls to local rape crises center hotlines creates a centralized number for any survivor of domestic violence or sexual assault to call and receive services. As of yesterday, this resource is now, now available through 211 as an additional avenue for the most vulnerable to access help. SafeLink will continue to be operated in its expanded form by Casa Myrna, a Boston-based domestic violence provider. 
The SafeLink toll-free number is 877-785-2020. And for those who are hearing impaired, the SafeLink number is 877-521-2601. Advocates are available in English and Spanish and can provide translation in more than 130 languages. SafeLink is confidential. It allows callers to discuss their experiences and needs with a trained advocate who will then talk with them about potential options and link them to local domestic violence or race, rape crisis programs. This hotline is designed for crisis intervention support for those who need assistance and safety planning measures for both themselves and their families. A specific message. If you have experienced sexual assault or domestic violence within your home, or are concerned about a loved one who may be experiencing violence, please call SafeLink and support them and connect them to the resources they need. If you are in immediate danger, of course, call 911. I also want to reiterate the message that sexual assault nurse examiners, also known as SANE, are still available in 36 hospitals across our Commonwealth during this time to provide forensic testing and to provide support to those who need these critical services. Information on the hospitals where SANE are, are can be found at mass.gov. We know that during this time, Individuals are still experiencing sexual violence, and it may be necessary to access direct forensic testing. So if you or someone you know has been sexually assaulted and is in need of sexual assault forensic exam, please go to your nearest emergency room department for care. And even during this difficult time, as we deal with the limits of our health care system, please know that there are trained professionals that can assist you walk you through the collection process, and connect you directly with a trained advocate for follow-up and support, regardless if you are ready to report the incident to law enforcement or not. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and normally as the chair of the Sexual Assault and Domestic Violence, I would be in communities working with providers to promote these programs in person. But today, Living in a COVID-19 environment, the point of the message is to explain that these services are still available and our partners across the Commonwealth are active and have made that transition to provide these services to you remotely. Clearly, these are unusual and uncertain times, but we know that survivors and victims will continue to be, to be part of our strategy, our response, and top of mind. And in every part of our Commonwealth, we are engaged and we talk daily about how to do this better. Friends, family members, neighbors, and coworkers all have a role to play too. You can make a difference. And in this time of physical distancing, it is critical that we maintain social connection, especially for people who have experienced sexual and domestic violence who are at greater risk when they are isolated from support. If you know someone struggling with issues related to sexual or domestic violence or assault, let them know that they are not alone. Call, email, text, and get them connected to a local program. You can call to ask for advice as well and find creative ways to, to support them. If you are at home with someone who has abused you, Please call for help when you can see the person but are far enough away that they can't hear you. This is the best way to ensure that reaching out for help does not further endanger you. And again, and if you are in immediate danger, please call 911. If you cannot safely call or are not comfortable doing so, you can instant message with a trained advocate at the National Domestic Violence Hotline at www.thehotline.org or www.loveisrespect.org or through the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network, www.rainn.org. 
I would like to just take a final moment during Sexual Assault and Awareness Month to let survivors know that we see you, we believe in you, and we are here for you. Thank you.